Hi everyone and welcome back to Sonic Academy with me, Chris Agnelli, and Philip Johnson sat beside me. Good uh, evening. At the helm. Uh, we are today taking a look at Bitwig. Uh, it is out. Once you get to see this video, it'll be out that, uh, the same day. Uh, so far we have looked at the, over, uh, the GUI. We have created a beat, bass, acid, some uh, in note editing is that right? Yeah, polyphonic. Polyphonic. polyphonic which is re really cool. Yeah, no, yeah it's it is so cool. It's interesting. Uh, and now we're going to look at the range, but first of all, we're going to throw in a quick vocal. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. I just recorded this in here. Back so. with another one of those sonic beats. Back with another one. So I just wanted to see how it sort of ties. Back with another one of those sonic beats. How it ties in. I purposefully recorded it out of time. Of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> so we could chop it up. So we've got a... Um, it's quite a uh, rhythmical beat, so it picked up the transients pretty well there. So we're going to split it on sets. No event selected. Split it on sets, and then we'll try quantizing it. We'll try quantizing it all. Back with another one of those onyx beats. Back with another one of those onyx beats. So did a pretty good job. Just didn't quite catch that last one yeah. in the right place. Back with another one of those onyx beats. Back with another one of those onyx beats. And yes. then we can do different stuff. You can pitch it down. Yeah, I can hear. I can hear. Going. I can hear individual ones getting pitched up. Back with another one of those. Let's try and get some processing on there. Just throw something on quickly before we um get a bit of EQ. Blurs like on vocals. It's pretty cool. Yeah, okay, so let's I'll just quickly name stuff. What have we got? Sending on that drum rack. That was our break. Acid, I think it should be called. Acid strings. Some of those smaller workflow things, uh, you know, were interesting. You know, naming and not being able to hit tab. I think that was only a recent. <laughs> you thing. just called that name. Name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do it all the time. We'll <laughs> I'm talking my type. <laughs> 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 okay, so we'll get rid of anything that we're not. Okay, so we've got this mode, which is standard Ableton Affair, mm -hmm. and we've got a range mode. Which isn't standard Ableton Affair. N no, well, th no, this is. And no, I know, but it's, it's it's really badly implemented, is what I mean. Yeah, I think it's just a long-winded, because of the, I think because the tracks are on the right for some reason, it, you're, you're, you know, if you're starting your arrangement over at this side of the screen, yeah. which you, you do, uh -huh. every time you want to do a track edit, you've done it. Get your Go mouse all the way, way over yeah. to that side. So I think this operation, you know, you're 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 covering a smaller distance. Good screen real estate, yeah. 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 So we can click this, and it shows the SAR. So clips. now, <coughs> what it's done is it's flipped the clips from uh, horizontal to vertical. From vertical to horizontal, yeah. That's more like it. <laughs> um. So it just gives us really easy access to be able to, you know, drag stuff into our range. Yeah. Window L like this. And we could obviously just select a bunch and drag them all together. And then we can just drag stuff out. 
Oh, we should be able to just drag stuff back. No. <coughs> yeah, there was a loop. So that's it. Yeah. Why are you no looping? Why are you no looping? So the lip is on. Do I need to hold alt or anything? Let's copy it. Yeah, I don't know why that's not looping. Let's see if this one loops. Yeah, yeah. that one loops fine. And this one loops fine. Do not know why. Maybe it was just a graphic, uh, you know, if it was slipping fine. It just no. So kick is slipping up bizarre points. Is yeah, it's interesting. Let's have it? a look at the clip and see. Yeah. So there's all sorts of weird weirdness going on there. Tardy editing. Um. Well, no. I mean, if you look at the original, this is the original MIDI part, okay. and that looks absolutely fine. Oh, so sorry. I thought I'd been looking at it. I do apologize, Phil. Yes. <laughs> so let's fire this in again to see if this time it loops. So oh, there we go. Yeah. So we're not too sure what happened there. And let's zoom out. And so we've got this. Um, we mentioned our time tool. So this can select like elements of time for us to do things with. So we could then... You could hit the duplicate. We can duplicate <coughs> time. Mm -hmm. And we can do that in the middle of, you know, an area as well. Mm -hmm. We can remove time. So I think it's a, it's a slightly different way of working. What is going on with that break? Is that worse? <laughs> I don't know, we've got a lot of strange... Things in our loop, um, and you can also uh, change your track height. So I think that's pretty handy. Let me cl click that again just to have a. Yeah, I like that. So you can change your track height. Yeah. Um. And. So this is obviously our loop point. How do we get a set our loop? Turn loop on. What is it going to be looping around? So we can drag our lip. So we'll just throw our wee vogel in at the end of this bit. And we can, of course, get rid of this as well. And that gives us our full... Full screen. Yeah, and we can bring up our just our mixer. If we want in <coughs> range mode. That's good, right. Okay. So you So that's handy. That's something you couldn't do in Ableton. Had to switch between the two views. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So this is a nice view. This is how I would like to arrange, you know, because you're sort of arranging and mixing. And mixing as yeah. you go, yeah. Yeah. Okay, at the minute it would seem that uh, a lot of our clips are playing in scene mode still. Yeah. So we can... That deselects scene mode, is it? Yeah. yeah. Sort of uh, forces it to the arrange. Forces it to the arrange. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll create a an instrument. Just want to throw in some crashes. So we'll see if we can get a crash sound by just crash drum machine crash box sharp no idea what that is you can preview in that uh, browser section yep yep all crashy yep not really what <laughs> I was looking for <laughs> so we'll try try in here crashes and rides that's oh, what we're about that.
Laat ik sort of... 909. A bit short, is it? Yeah. It's a bit more like it. I want to put it on top. It's not going to work. Yeah, what else we're going to do? Have uh, a breakdown? A breakdown? <laughs> an odd length is it? yes it is <laughs> why is that everything's in <laughs> everything's in odd lengths <laughs> that was that was me just being i've got it <laughs> too excited <laughs> yeah so let's uh fix that i blame bitwig for that no idea why i do but it's an obvious bug in the system i think we'll uh bug in my system yeah we'll have to write to them and say look you know i'm still getting it wrong aren't i has to go to nine. I think after all these years. So let's just get rid of all this. Oh, Not the crash. Keep a crash. Yeah, keep a crash. And let's try our time tool again. Let's. And if you hit duplicate over here, would that do the same job? Yeah, it sure will. There we go. So yeah, is there anything else we've got there? You can mute, duplicate, bounce. Yes, yeah, so that's one thing I wanted to show. <coughs> so we'll do that. Um, so let's have a breakdown here. I think maybe it would be nice if there was a bit of indication around like yeah, like the a ninth bar, the thicker yeah, line. line or something. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, like they do in the range section here. Th there's a thicker bar. You want it on uh, the timeline at the top. Yeah, yeah. If it was on the timeline, and also ones on the ninth and the seventeenth, and you know to yeah. show you your eight bar phrases. Or it might be something optional you could turn off. That'd be nice. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we'll go <coughs> go for a breakdown, and I want to show you the bouncing in place. Yeah. Um, what can be done here so there's some there's a really cool feature so we've got effectively a an instrument track here with our acid sound and what we can actually do is select a, an element of time or oh. delete it yeah let's not do that um so let's select see if i can select just so we'll split it let's split a bit here just at the end. I really like having buttons for tools. Yeah, so so Ableton doesn't have a key command for it. It has switch? a key command for just switching to a thing, but there's no like slice button or yeah. slice tool no. or uh, eraser tool. So I'd be lost without that. So we've got we've got a MIDI track, and we can bounce in place. And now we've got a hybrid track. And what's a hybrid track, Phil? Okay, so. You see there that we've got audio tracks, which have the wee the audio. audio symbol. We've got MIDI tracks, have the wee thing. And then we've got a hybrid track now, which is like... Half and half. Half and half. So basically, we've got MIDI on it as well as some audio. So that's really cool. It means mm -hmm. you can sort of use the same effects. So we've still got our, our delay on. We don't have to create a new track, put the same delay on. So it didn't bounce the effects then? It just bounced the, the it, synth? I imagine so. So let's uh, go in, get our mixer up. Yeah, so it bounces for all intents and purposes, it sounds exactly like the the MIDI. But then we've also obviously got we've now got this part that we could say split it on sets. We could reverse do reverse bits. Yeah, 
you know, and it's that, that pure seamless integration of the two elements is really cool to me. Yeah, no, it's just a, it's a much more uncluttered mix as well, isn't it? You're not having to yeah. open, you know, if you say you're using UAD stuff there, you don't have to open up other instances of UAD. It's all in the one channel. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so it's saving you, yeah, processing, yeah. saving you all sorts of stuff. Now, what is that coming from? Reverb y type. Yeah. Let's turn our reverb off for now. Oh, we must have something coming from somewhere. Some notes sort of being held, is it? Hmm. No, because none of the <coughs> channels are showing meters, so it's just the reverb channel. Just re uh, switch out the plug in and put it back in again. Yeah, did it, didn't it? Yeah, I'm not sure what is S1 effect, is that? And if we turn this down. PM Bitwig about that one. Dear Mr. Bitwig. So we'll get a wee kick in there as well, will we? Let's see how easy it is to just take part of a kick. Can I just take... I'm going to be adding that on there. So we want uh, a razor. I just want the first bit. So what have we got here? And uh, we're looking in here for sweeps. Just want to see what effects there is. So surge effects. It's almost exactly like our strings on. Yeah. Take that as well. Mm -hmm. And how is it handling tempo issues? Is it automatically warping them or? Yeah. yeah. How's that stretch on? It's good. Uh, is that original tempo is 93. I guess I could turn this to raw. Mm -hmm. And then just position it wherever I want. I'll maybe try that with the other one as well. Okay, so another thing we'll have a look at is um, automation. I want to just see if I consolidate this. Yeah, I just want to join stuff together. Yeah. See if you can do that. Okay, so we'll we'll do a bit of automation in our breakdown over our um, on our acid line. So we can twirl down our automation with this button. And then we get a drop down menu 
and we can select the devices that yeah. are on the channel. No, I, I would really like <laughs> to be able to scroll <laughs> down there. Um, I think it's probably a mixture between my mouse not having a, a regular scroll cool. wheel. Right. Because I'm sure um, you could get down there if you you had a regular mouse. I just want the filter though, so it's up here anyway. Phew. Which is which is fine. So the only thing uh, we can we can do this. So you can't actually make the tracks bigger. I don't think. You can make automation bigger. Yeah, there's no way to extend the. There's no yeah. There's no sort of arrow thing there. To yeah, but that's fine. So we're we're already it's showing us our automation points, and we can do a bit of automation tweaking. Um, so we can do curves, we can hold down alt and do curves, nice curves everywhere. I just checked on my laptop, Bitwig, and the menu does scroll. It does scroll. Um, yeah, so it must be a combination of maybe dual screens and... Uh, Quite possibly, <coughs> yeah. So you can draw some nice curves in, it's very easy to operate. Um, nodes go in just as you would expect. And doing a second layer of, uh, of automation, does it twirl down again or is it drawn in a different colour? So how do I get rid of automations there? So double click is it? Just delete. Yeah, cool. So that's cool. So, so can you draw on a resonance for me? It's just So, yeah, so it seems to put the previous automation down at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a bit of a confusing one. Yeah, and we'll try the resonance. So I'll start off. So it's the same color. And what happens then when it hits the, the audio bit? Does it just... I pass it. Uh, just forgets about it almost. Yeah, I'll yeah. just go play, just the, play, the, audio. play the audio. So when you fold those back down toward the, yeah, there's no there's no indication that there's automation on that track. It's no, I wonder can we show <coughs> automation for mm. the whole Just shows it when yeah. you Yeah. You would have thought they would have drawn some sort of indicator in there, but I show all automation lanes mm -hmm. as in there. So let me. Can I unshow? Yep, so you click the wee star. Okay, and that reveals more automation lanes. And you can close them there. So now I think that actually deletes the automation when you when you click this. Right, try it. Yeah, delete this lane and oh. all its automation. So that's, uh, a, uh, that's a works. To me, that would look like close the automation. Exactly. That is very dangerous. To, does it even give you a... Are you sure? There, does it? So... Yep. Yep. There you go. Cool. Um. So, anything else we want to... Just the next one, we'll sort of maybe do a quick mix down and look at what it's like for mastering. Yeah. Cool, very much. And exporting. Exporting, yeah, the yeah, uh, because the only thing you can export is the waves, yeah. Yeah, that's been interesting. Guys, see you all in the next video.